Sports Live in the ATL here on this Saturday, uh, game day Saturday. I will not be able uh, to watch the game. I got to work, but it is on DVR. I will be recording the game tomorrow, Panthers at the Falcons. Uh, this video right here, uh, I did a tribute, a uh, 10 bell salute tribute last night to Coach Dooley, uh, who passed away yesterday at the age of 90 years old. Being a long time you know, Georgia fan and Atlanta, uh, Georgia sports fan, you know, since 1980, that that's where it, it kickstarted. Uh, I've told this story a million times. It seems like, uh, I became an Atlanta sports fan in 1980 when I was 10, when I, uh, we were living in Atlanta at the time. And, um, I think it was, I would probably say 79. And at the time, bringing the Atlanta Braves were on TBS and everything so uh, I watched the Braves late 79 probably early 80 and then uh, you know in the stands you would see Georgia hats and Georgia Tech hats and a lot of Vince Dooley uh, stuff on TV and you know the Herschel Walker and the Lindsey Scott and Buck Ballou and the Gators that long touchdown and then you know obviously culminating with the national title so that that's how it got started for me even though I moved to Miami and then I saw I followed all the other Atlanta teams, but uh, you know, the great Georgia, uh, also uh, Larry Munson, Munger down, everybody, you kick the hobnail boot, run Lindsey, run, you know. I, so Vince Dooley passing away yesterday was not a surprise. I mean, he was 90 years old, you know, and throughout the years I would, you know, see him on, on uh, grocery store commercials, radio, TV and you know that you know it was coming you know I mean he's 90 years old but when you think of Georgia Bulldog football the history of Georgia the national championship aspirations through Georgia you know every time you you know it was in 680 the fan Buck Ballou Vince, uh, you know uh, Herschel Walker Kirby Smart played for him you know you think of Vince Dooley you think of Georgia Bulldog football you think of Vince Dooley so it's sad but I'm not going to say it's it's shocking because he was a 90-year-old man. But if there was one person that personified a toughness and grit, that would be him, not only in a football field, but, you know, obviously a staple in the community in Athens and then in the state of Georgia and even in a whole Atlanta area in the southeast. Uh, Vince Dooley did, did so much uh, when he retired back in 98. I'm sorry, 1988. So, uh with heavy hearts that Georgia plays today against Florida, but I, I couldn't picture a better opponent for Georgia to be playing today than the Florida Gators. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of emotion. I would expect patches, pregame ceremony on both sides. You know, Vince Dooley was heavily involved in the world's largest outdoor cocktail party, a lot of memorable games, even though he won most of them, I believe. But uh, just a sad day, you know, and everything, having Vince Dooley passing. So I hope Georgia comes out has Vince Dooley in their hearts because obviously they will. Vince Dooley would want you to go out there and beat the, the Gators. And uh, I, I think, I believe, I believe Georgia will win today. I just don't know what the score is, but you know, Georgia can't take them likely though, you know, but you're clearly better and you got to handle your business. Uh, but uh, again, coach Dooley, rest in peace. My mom uh, actually, and her boyfriend actually met Vince Dooley a couple years ago. They got an autograph for me. Uh, it's just put away in my sports stuff. So if I can ever find it, I will post it. It was signed by Coach Dooley and everything. Uh, so that that was great. You know, my mom's not really heavy into sports, but she saw fit to to get that for me when Vince Dooley arrived at one event that they were attending. So uh, rest in peace, Coach Dooley. Uh, when I think of Georgia Bulldogs, always think of you, always have. You know, even in 2022. So I'm glad that, you know, you obviously were the first head coach to bring us a national championship in 1980. Not sure if there was any before that, but I don't believe so. But even if there was, I don't own it. Uh, you brought the most popular national championship in 1980. And then you were there for Kirby Smart when we beat Alabama in 2021 to win a national championship. So... You know, I know you were. I know that that was a special moment for you. Thank you, Coach Dooley, for always being a staple of Georgia sports, state of Georgia. Uh, you know, give thoughts and prayers to your family, to your wife, to your kids. 
to all your friends and stuff growing when you were growing up in uh, I believe Auburn, Alabama. You know, they got some ties to you as well. So I know they're feeling heavy hearts as well. So rest in peace, Coach Dooley. You always be thought about in the memories of Georgia Bulldog fans, SEC coaching and college football and sports in general. And until the day that we meet, uh, rest in peace, sir. Salute. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your contributions to UGA and college football. Sports Avenue ATL. Rest in peace, Dooley. See you in the next one.